Welcome to the Home Base Cardiac Rehabilitation Exercise Programme. This is aimed to aid your recovery. First of all, ensure you've got enough room in which to exercise and that the room you're exercising in is not too hot or too, too cold. Good idea to have some water handy, which you might want during the routine. Very important to wear comfortable clothing and also supportive footwear. Slippers are not appropriate. It's a good idea to have an upright dining room chair for support and you'll also use it for some of the exercises as we go through. Another good idea is to have some tins or bottles of water available. These can be used as light weights. The routine we'll do will consist of a warm up followed by nine exercises and then a cool down. For some people the warm up may be sufficient. That may be enough for you. If that's the case, fine. We can add some of the exercises in gradually in the future as a progression. When you're exercising, you should feel a little bit warm and just getting slightly puffed, but you shouldn't be out of breath or very puffed. If you're getting to that stage, slow down initially, and if you do need a rest or you need to stop, just try and keep the feet moving a little bit. Always be aware of your breathing and refer to that scale we gave you which goes from no problem through to feeling very tired and very puffed. You shouldn't get to that stage. To get the benefits of the exercise you just need to be slightly puffed but not uncomfortable. If you feel any chest pain or feel unwell stop immediately. Sit down and if you have a GTN spray use it as appropriate. If the pain persists and you're not feeling well, phone 999. So we're going to start with the warm-up and this is designed to increase your heart rate a little, mobilize your joints and stretch the main muscle groups. As far as possible keep the feet moving all the time during your warm-up. There's a couple of stretches for your legs when you won't be able to do this, but other times try and keep them moving. So I'm going to hand you over to Julie, it will take us through the warm-up and then on to the exercise routine. So, if you're ready, here we go. Hello, we're just going to start first of all by marching on the spot. It's a nice light march, we don't need to go in pounding away, lifting the legs too high. We want it all to be quite gradual and we want you to work at your own pace, it's very important to not keep up with anybody else or just to work at your own pace. You're marching through and while you're marching I just want you to just just start to roll the shoulders. So you're taking the shoulders back, moving through, don't hold your breath, keep breathing as normal as you can. You want to do about five forward and, a fi and about five backwards. That's absolutely fine. Just lifting the shoulder and moving through the joint. Relax the arms down, keeping the feet moving as we say at all times, and we just want you to turn your head towards one shoulder. So turn it towards the right shoulder, just hold it for a few seconds, then bring it back to the centre, take the chin down towards the chest, and again just hold for a couple of seconds, so we're not going to do fast movements, back up to the centre, and then take it over towards the left shoulder. Again holding for just a couple of seconds and back into the centre. All we're going to do then is return back towards the shoulders. We're going to give them a bit of a more of, of a lift. We're going to lift with the shoulder and the elbow. A little bit bigger movement. Taking them back. Again only about five times. Five or six times is fine. And then on that last time I want you to place your hands the small of the back or the top of the bottom. Your hands face, fingers are facing down and I don't want you to push through here but I want you to pull the tummy muscles in and just gently aim the shoulder blades to the back. So you're trying, you don't have to meet, you're trying to aim them towards the back and the centre of the back. You're still breathing as normal as you can and you're still moving the feet as best you can too. Only hold it for again about 8-10 seconds and then release the arms back down. Just give them a little shake just to loosen them off. This time we're going to show 
we should do the shoulder rolls forward. Nice big turns, using the shoulder and the elbow, lifting them up. Again, five or six turns. And then on that last one again, bring the shoulders right over, clasp the hands at the front. Don't lock the elbows out, just stretch the arms forward and drop the chin down towards your chest. You're keeping your feet moving all the time. Don't hold your breath. Keep breathing as normal as possible. And then release the arms down. And again, just give them a little swing, a little roll back, so you're just stretching them off a little there. Think nice and tall all the time you're marching. Okay, then that's pretty much a warm up, which is about two to three minutes long, and we're just doing these main joints to, to mobilise them and get them ready for any workout. The, the last little bit we need to do is just stretch off your legs a little, because these muscles are going to be, we work quite hard. Okay, so the first stretch we're going to demonstrate is a calf stretch. So you're going to feel this stretch here in your calf, on both legs, alright? So I'm going to use the chair to help support, which is what you can use also, and Glenn's going to do the, the actual stretch free. So I want you to take a big step back, so you've got a nice step back, both feet are still on the floor, so you've not got this heel up, push the heel down, and the front knee is bent to give you a little bit of balance. Hands onto the chair if you need it. Nice easy breathing, don't hold your breath and you should feel that in the calf muscle at the back of the leg. Eight to ten seconds, that's all. Then bring it back in and just march on the spot for just a few. So you can march for about five, ten little marches just to get that pulse rate back up again before you change and you go onto the other leg. Big stretch back with the leg. Both feet facing the same way. One leg nice and straight and the other one bent at the knee. And you should feel the stretch on the straighter of the two legs. Try not to let this front knee go over and push through that knee. Keep the back heel on the floor and keep this knee back here. When you've done that, bring it back in and again march on the spot. By using your arms, you will add a little bit more intensity to your workout. So if you're swinging your arms, you will most definitely feel that that has brought up your pulse rate a little. And that's absolutely fine if it helps with the marching as well. So, the next, the next stretch we're going to do is for the big muscles in the thigh here, okay? So you, what I want you to be able to do, the aim is to take hold of the foot into the hand. If you can't do that, that's fine. You can take the back of the trouser and just try and pull the knees together. I'll turn around so you can see this way. And the, arch, the, the stretch is from here to the knee. So you want a nice long stretch here. So try not to lean forward. Try to stand tall when you stretch your leg out. Gently release it. Give it a bit of a shake. Same on the other side because that's been holding you up. And you want to do that stretch then on the other leg. So again, you might need to hold on to something. Take the foot into the hand if you can. Remember to try and keep that nice and tall so you're not bent forward. The back of the trouser is fine also. And you're just holding it eight to 10 seconds and then releasing it down. Give them a little shake and then go back to your marching. We have just one other stretch to do to the legs, the hamstring stretch. It isn't the most natural, it isn't the easiest stretch, but if you can, just do, the, do your best with this stretch, okay? You're going to stretch the back, of the, the back of the thigh here. So you can either use the bottom stair, or you could still use your chair holding on. You're just going to take one foot forward, push your hips back, so put your hands on the top of the thigh and push your hips back. So your bottom sticks out a little, you've got a straight front leg, and the other leg is bent again, helping to support you. You can use the chair if you prefer, and that's fine. Keep your head up, chest lifted, and then return and do the same on the other side. Extending one leg, bending one leg, nice and straight, so you feel that stretch all the way down from the, the bottom to the back of the knee. And keep breathing as normal as you can. Release it, and then back to marching. So that was your warm-up. For some of you, that, as we said, may be enough, and that's perfectly fine if it is. 
go and have a little walk, get, a, get the kettle on and, and you can have a little break if you wish to do so. If you want to continue and do some of the other exercises, then you stay with us, grab a drink and we'll go through some of the main exercises we'd like you to do. Now the first exercise, uh, the two exercises we have are cardiovascular exercises and we have what we call active rest exercises. The first ones we're going to do at the moment is an active rest one. So if you, you know the tins that we asked you to get, tins or bottles, tins of soup, tins, beans, we want you to take hold of those, one in each hand, and just curl them up from the elbow, you're curling your hand, your fist, towards the shoulder. Okay, so you're using this muscle here. So this isn't as taxing for the heart as using the big muscles in the legs. But it's still an exercise and it's keeping you active. It does help strengthen the muscles in the arm. And we're just going to do the active rest exercises, which is a few, for 30 seconds each time if you can. And do as many as you feel comfortable in that 30 seconds and at a pace you feel comfortable. Once you've completed those, you can replace your tins on a table near to you because you'll need them again. Then the next exercise we're going to do will involve your chair, or can do, your dining room chair. There's two exercises at this station. We can either do a sit to stand, or we can actually do what we call a squat through here. All right, so Glenn's going to demonstrate the sit to stand. You cross your arms, so you can't use your hands. You want the effort to come from the legs. And you're taking yourself from the seat and standing up. You're using your legs to push yourself up. So there's a good supply there of blood and oxygen getting to the legs and helping you push up each time. Don't hold your breath and only do as many as you feel comfortable. Aim perhaps to do about 10. But we want you to try and do the exercise for about a minute. So you might get 10 in, you may get more in, but don't feel you have to rush them, do them at your own pace. If you find that too difficult, you could do a squat, or you could do a bit of both. You could do 30 seconds of one and 30 seconds of the other. Now the squat, you can use your chair to help balance, and you're just taking your bottom back and pushing through your heels as you come back up. So we don't need it to down here. We don't need the bottom on the floor. We just want you to push back, gentle push, and back up again. You're pushing your back, your, your bottom towards the back. That's it, nice and comfortable. Keep your breathing nice and steady. And again, if you can do them for a minute, that's be great. And when you finish shows, just return back to your marching. Feel free to, to get a glass of water or a drink of water at any time throughout any of the exercises. We go back now to what we call an active rest exercise. We've made the heart work quite hard with these leg exercises, so we want one a little less heart taxing, a little more gentle, all right? So the next one we're going to do is like a foot, a foot side tap. So Glenn's going to show one and I will do another. We can either step side to side, all right? And you're just tapping, so you can use a swing or you can just tap from side to side. Again, if you want to use the chair to help balance, you can do. And that's fine. And although it's involving the legs, the big muscle groups, it is less taxing than some of the other exercises. So it's still considered what we call an active rest exercise. So we're looking at 30 seconds and then return again back to your march. So hopefully, so far so good. You're still feeling fit and well, and we're not too out of breath. So the next exercise we're actually going to do is a, what we call a back toe step. It's not a lunge, but you're just taking the toe back, okay? You can use the chair, so you're just taking a foot back, together, back, together. If you want to make the exercise a little harder, then you can use your arms by raising them as Glenn is doing, forwards. You don't need to take them any higher than the chest, just at shoulder height there. And you just tap it back and again, do them at your pace. And it's step together, step back together. All right? Bending one knee and stretching out the other leg. The heel doesn't have to touch the floor. And then back to a march again on the spot. Keep your breathing nice and steady, but you should probably by now be feeling a little bit more out of breath, a little bit more to that 
that puffy stage really. So a nice and gentle march on the spot again. Get your breath back together. And the next exercise we do again is with the tins. So if you walk to get those, tins or bottles, remember, it doesn't matter. And we're just going to use the arms now. We're going to take either a forward raise or a lateral raise. Okay, so you can take the arms out to the side. Again, shoulder height. No more than shoulder height. We don't need them to be up here. Or you could take them forwards if you prefer that move. You can use both arms or you can use one then the other. It's perfectly fine, it doesn't matter whichever's most comfortable and that comes most natural for you. And again we're looking at just 30 seconds of those and then we can return the tins back to the table. So you should feel a little bit like you've got some more breath now, ready to do the next uh, exercise, the more cardiovascular exercise, which is the one that we're, we're more really important to do. Okay, and the next one we're looking at now is uh, the step ups. So we've got a step, a makeshift step. Hopefully you've got the bottom stair in your house. If you have a bungalow, then it doesn't matter. I'm going to show you how you just can makeshift the step anyway. All right, so nice and tall. We're just going to use the right leg first of all, if you can. We're going to step up and back down. Okay, again, at your pace. So you don't feel it has to be fast. And it's just a bottom step, we're not aiming to get up and down stairs, we're just aiming to use these legs and get them moving regularly. If you feel like you need the banister to hold on to, that's perfectly fine. And don't forget, we want to change legs so far through, so then try and change to the other leg. So your right leg leads and then perhaps the left leg leads. We're looking, if we can, about a minute. That might be just ten on one leg, ten on the other. It might be five on one leg and five on the other. We're trying to go for at least a minute. And then back to a more, your more relaxed state, which again is just your marching on the spot. Marching just keeps everything moving, keeps the circulation going all the way around the body. So it's only light marching in between each exercise. Okay, we've gone to this time now. We need to actually do what we call like a side thigh raise. So you're using the, the, the hip joint and the legs, okay? So again, if you wish to, you can use the wall for support or you can use the back of the chair. And all you're going to do is keeping the foot off the floor is extend the leg out towards the side and back in again. Out and back in. And you keep the foot off the floor so you're using the control of the muscle each time and it doesn't have to be high we don't need this this kicking out movement it's just a small lift to one side and then a small lift to the other side keep your body nice and tall so you're not leaning forward or backwards or towards one side or the other side just try and lift the leg out towards the side and don't forget to keep breathing as normal as you can we don't want to take a big deep breath and then end up with a purple face and then bring the legs back down and back to marching on the spot. So we're nearly there. <coughs> Grab another drink now if you want to. Again, it's up to you. You must keep hydrated, so keep having a little sips of water and that'd be absolutely fine. So we're going back to now what we call the CV exercise, the cardiovascular exercise. So with this time, we're going to use... Um, to bring the knee up towards the chest. So we want to keep the chest lifted and you're just bringing the knee up only as high as you feel is comfortable. So it might be a big step like Len or it might just be a little step as I am doing. But it's as comfortable as you feel. All right, hold on if you feel you need to hold on. Again, that's perfectly fine. And if you want to make the exercise just that little bit harder, then you can use hand to knee which is what Glenn is doing now. She's using the opposite hand to the knee and then and lifting from there. Again, if we can, we want, we're aiming for a minute. So try not to worry too much. Just do them as comfortably and at your pace and then just time yourself for a minute and see how you get on with those. Nice and tall and breathe in as normal as you can. And then back to your marching again. So hopefully you're still feeling well and you're still with us on the exercises. 
And remember, if you feel that most of the things are the exercise, if you're really well with the exercises and you're managing them and coping, and you're reaching on that scale of four, if you can, four to five, then you're doing really, really well at that. And if you want to repeat these exercises, you don't have to start at the warm-up. You can go straight in and just repeat them through after we've done everything. If, at the, on the other hand, you've had enough, then you could just go straight to a cool down at any point, okay? And the cool down would just be walking through. So the last exercise we've got now is with active rest one. We're going to do like a press up against the wall. So you take your hands to the side of you. You try not to have them too far up the wall or too far down the wall, just underneath your shoulders. And you keep your arms fairly straight and your feet on the floor and you take your body towards the wall, your face and your nose, and then push away. So you're taking it towards the wall and push away. Nice easy breathing, don't hold your breath. You can be breathing in here as you go towards the wall, breathe out as you push. Breathe in and breathe out. And again, we're looking at 30 seconds if you can of those. That gives it, using your muscles here in the chest, and it also helps there then, using the muscles up in the shoulder area and in the arms as well. Okay, then we go back to a march, and we're into what we call a cool down now. That was the last of the exercises. You cool down, you must always do a warm up and you must always do a cool down before you finish. And you cool down, in this, in this uh, exercise, is just walking through the home. So it's nice and tall, and it's just walking through at a pace it for you who feel very comfortable. For again, about a minute, you cool down a little quicker than you warm up. Or you can go back to marching on the spot, but keep it really, really gentle. And practice the breathing, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Well, that's the end of the routine. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. As Julie said, if it's too difficult, then just leave it at the warm-up. If you find it quite comfortable and easy, you can then just repeat the same routine. Obviously, you don't need the warm-up again, but you do need the cool-down right at the end. So, if there are any queries or questions, uh, you can ask us next time Julie and I come and see you, or you can ring, ring the office and you have the number for that. But hopefully you've enjoyed it and uh, it's been beneficial and we'll see you soon. Thank you.